But outside Dhaka, Bengal's most heavily fortified city, the evidence of effective Bengali, not Indian, sabotage techniques is plainly visible. Although a civilian governor has been appointed, the army still controls the province. With each new guerrilla success, the tension in Dhaka grows. Bengali shops fly Pakistani flags or even display pictures of Yahya Khan as insurance against army reprisals. In broad daylight on the main streets of Dhaka, civilians are stopped by soldiers and searched for arms. The army has begun to feel threatened by the guerrillas it once dismissed with such contempt. And the army has reason to feel threatened. In the heart of Dhaka, guerrilla sabotage units carry out a daring raid on the film section of the Pakistani administration's information office. With increasing frequency, Dhaka is rocked by explosions from bombs planted by Mukti saboteurs. The Bengalis have at last begun to win the psychological war against the Pakistan army.